Does your center board tend to creep up when you're sailing along on the water? Well, this little tip might just help you gain more power along the race course. Hola atletas, I'm Connor from Coco Coaching and I'm here to help you improve your sailing skills to help you become a better sailor. Whether it be tactics, boat handling, boat speed, or anything really about sailboat racing, I've got over a decade of elite level coaching experience and I'm here to share all the latest tips, tricks, and coaching advice with you. Now let's get right into it. Today we're going to look at how to fix a Far East centerboard system, but really this applies to all optimists. I see so many optimist sailors often struggling to keep their centerboard all the way down and have it stay there. So today's pro tip number 43 shows you how to instantly power up your boat and keep your centerboard down. One reason that this tip is so important is because if you're sailing along and you feel like you're lacking power in the boat, what can happen is your centerboard starts to creep up at the back edge. Now, when you're in light air, you might start to notice this with your head down in the boat. But when you're in heavy air, what can also happen is the boat's steering is thrown out of, wha out of whack. One thing that can happen is as your centerboard starts to creep up at the trailing edge on top, as it creeps out of the case, it turns into a very large difference in balance in the boat and you actually start losing power, whether it be in light air or heavy air. You might feel this difference in light air, but the problem is in heavy air, you might only feel a slight change or the boat might feel a little bit squirrely. But the bigger problem is that you're just going to be slow when you go to power up the boat. So remember, a little change at the top turns into a big change in power down at the bottom. So again, this applies not just to Far East boats, but to all optimists. Make sure your centerboard sits all the way down in the centerboard case. If it pops up, move the brake aft by shortening the sail tie restrictor on it. If you have a Far East boat, my advice is to remove the bungees from the front of the boat. This way, you can more easily run forward and adjust your sprit throughout the race without fear of tripping. So one thing we have to do is take this centerboard brake and we want to pull it back in the centerboard case so it sits about here. What that'll do is apply more downward pressure on the back of the centerboard to stop it from rising up. Take the bungee system and centerboard brake and tie it through the front fair lead on the front of the centerboard case. Then take the centerboard brake and push it to the maximum strained position. Take a sail tie, tie a bowl in on either end and ensure the bungee runs through the loop on either end of the sail tie as it passes through the hidden centerboard slot. Then use the sail tie to size where your centerboard brake pulls down on the aft edge of the centerboard. A shorter sail tie will result in more downward force on the aft edge. A longer one will result in reverting back to the original system issues that we had. Be sure to check the system on the water before you trim the ends of the bungee and the sail tie to make sure it's working perfectly. 